attorney Dan Donovan, and Brooklyn City Councilman Vincent Gentili. debate, which is, like I said, once again very upsetting that these two corporations have decided who they're going to uh, pretty much endorse tonight. They, they've made this perfectly clear by not allowing me in. But I am in other debates with the Democratic and Republican opponents. So I'll be in those debates and we're encouraging people like independent media to come and cover those debates because that's the only way that we're going to get our word out there. I want to make sure for the next generation we can say the same thing about my baby and your family. So I'm going to go to Washington to do that for your family as I want to do for my family. I thank you very, very much, and I hope after tonight's debate, you choose to vote for me on May 5th. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. I'm the only one on this stage that has represented both sides of this district, both in Brooklyn and in Staten Island, very well. Enough. Only one in, on this stage that has been in the majority and in the minority and know how to operate in both. You can hear a lot of talk tonight about contrasting views. Should all police officers be equipped with body cameras? Absolutely. Mr. Doctor. Yes, as long as we find a way to do it properly. Mr. And we should have federal money to assist the localities in, in putting those kidding. body cameras. Mr. Mr. Donovan. Very competitive. Uh, I hope Donovan wins. Um, he, I, I thought he had a lot of strong points. And uh, I think that he's going to win. I think uh, Gentile had it. He was more dynamic than Donovan. I think it was um, very professional. Um, it wasn't so much attack as it was basically just speaking their mind and, and giving the people an idea about what they have to offer. And hey, what did you think of it? I think it was good. I think it was good. Well, I do think that you know Donovan has the uh, fundraising lead and uh, has higher name recognition on uh, in Staten Island, so I think he's the favorite. It, it would have been very difficult for Gentile to deliver a knockout punch tonight. I, I don't think he did. Debates generally don't swing elections in big directions.